the most famous chocolate cake in the world, Sacher Tort. The original recipe has been a very well kept secret by the Sacher Hotel. This is an approximation recipe, so still got some secrets there. Today I will make the recipe published by the Sacher Hotel. For the cake you need 150 grams of room temperature unsalted butter and beat the butter to get a creamy texture and little by little add 100 grams of icing sugar in total and keep mixing until all combined. Now that it's combined separate 6 egg yolks and add to the butter following the previous method. Reserve the egg whites as we are going to make a meringue later. Add 10 gram of vanilla extract. I combine the vanilla paste with vanilla extract to get the maximum vanilla flavor. But you can add just extract or two vanilla bean seeds. Melt 130 grams of dark chocolate, preferably with cocoa content greater than 55%. And combine with butter mixture. Now set aside the butter, add the reserved egg whites with 100 grams of caster sugar and whip at medium speed for about 5 minutes. After that 5 minutes increase gradually the speed. You may wonder why I don't add sugar 3 times, that's because the last part of the sugar is not gonna melt completely. Now sift a little flour over the chocolate mixture and alternate with a little meringue. Fold very carefully and repeat the same process about 3 times. Pour the mix into 7 inch mold and smooth the top. Bake in preheated oven at 170 degrees celsius for about 40-50 minutes. Once it's ready, tip the cake onto a baking paper and let it cool for about 40 minutes. Now turn over the paper and cut the top and then in half. For the filling you need 220 grams of the best apricot jam or conserve. I use the entire jar of 370 grams Bon Mama apricot to conserve and set the cake in the fridge for about 3 hours. For the glaze boil 125 grams water with 200 grams caster sugar and boil for about 5 minutes to make a syrup. Now I have measured this and it's about 107 degrees celsius. Add half of the hot syrup over 150 grams dark chocolate with 55% cocoa content then combine and continue to finish the syrup and let it cool to about 28-30 degrees celsius. Now glaze the cold cake, don't forget the sides and set in the fridge for about half an hour. When the cake is cool completely, cut it into your desired portion size. The leftover glaze I have warmed it up a little to pile the S on top of each slice of cake. 